We got a call that my grandmother had an accident and was hospitalized and I needed to drive my mom back to Dallas to um, and help her through rehabilitation. And at the time, um, my uncle was actually caregiver, primary caregiver for my grandmother. And he, he really is um, like a second father to me too. He actually had suffered a brain injury like a decade prior and we all kind of like ignored it as a, a family because we wanted him to have his dignity, feel independent and feel like he could do things um, himself and including uh, regrettably allowing him to be like the caregiver for my grandmother. You know, I really thought that that was something, we all thought that was something maybe he needed, but it turned out that it was just so much stress and pressure. Um, even though he was struggling with depression, he tried to hide it because he didn't want any of us to be burdened by what he had been going through. And the breaking point was the potential of losing his mom. And when I went there to, to help him, um, it, it was just too much. And he tried to um, commit suicide by going to a police station with a gun and they shot at him. Um, and he survived the injuries, but he's now imprisoned because he was on government property with a gun. For my uncle, like trying to protect others from the burden of his depression, like that's, that's not how family works. We're supposed to be open and honest with each other when we're broken down so that we can pick each other up. Like there shouldn't be ego in family. Um, and I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm torn apart because I had to like testify, you know, and to the integrity of this amazing man that I've known all my life. Um, and I just think it's an important thing to talk about, mental health awareness um, and promoting vulnerability like within your community. After, after all that, um, I Won't Stay Down, our song um, came out of that. Um, at the time, I couldn't really talk about my uncle's story specifically, and since then I have written a song that's unreleased yet about it. Um, but this one was an anthem that I needed, and all I could focus on was like the depression and everything that I had lost. And I realized that that's not how I want to live my life. I want to make sure that I'm encouraging myself with positive thoughts, I'm encouraging others um, to know that there is hope. We love writing with anyone, anyone creative, talented, um, but it has been special to write with.